Something tells me you're here because you've heard about Super Neptunia RPG and you want to learn a little bit more about Neptune and her friends before you get your hands on the game. Neptune would be more than happy to tell you about everyone herself, but as you can see, uh, our protagonist has a minor case of amnesia. Since Neptune can't seem to remember who she is or where she came from, I will be helping her with the introductions. Ah, the mysterious one who knows me more than I know myself. The Neptunia series tells the story of four console patron units, also known as CPUs, as they live to protect a video game inspired world. This world is called Game Industry, a place where each of the four CPUs rules over a nation and protects its citizens. The CPUs have the ability to gain strength from an energy source known as shares, which is created by the faith of their citizens. The power of shares gives the CPUs abilities that far surpass those of a normal human, which has helped them maintain peace and balance within the world. These girls have an important job on their hands, but their friends and the faith of their nations keeps them moving forwards. Now, let's meet the four CPUs that put their lives on the line to defend game industry. Neptune is the face of the Neptunia series and the patron CPU of the nation, Planeptune. She's endured all the crazy dimension hopping the series is known for, while still managing to keep an optimistic outlook on life and a smile on her face. Well, I am pretty cute. <laughs> Noir is the patron CPU of the nation, Lestation. She has a serious disposition and tries to do everything on her own. She's a classic Sundere girl that has a difficult time opening up to others, and because of her personality, Neptune often teases her by calling her a loner. What? Hey! Her favorite hobby is making and wearing all sorts of cosplay outfits, but she tries to keep this a secret from her. Shut up! Not a word. Blonde is the patron CPU of the nation, Louis. She normally has a calm and quiet demeanor. But when she loses her temper, she snaps into a fit of rage and becomes rather impossible to tame. She's an avid reader and writer and claims to be the most intelligent of all the CPUs. She's secretly been selling the novels she's written at conventions, but for some reason, they don't sell very well. Are you trying to annoy me? Because it's working! And Vert is the patron CPU of the nation, Leanbox. Her outward appearance is that of a kind, mature older sister. But inside, she's a hardcore game enthusiast with a room overflowing with games and merchandise. Yes, I must shut myself in and play through all of my games. It's very important. Vert has the utmost confidence in her style and is quite proud of her physical appearance and gigantic personality. Is everything all right, dear? Some may say these girls have questionable personalities for people in such high-ranking positions. But when it comes to protecting game industry, you won't find anyone that's more reliable. Ooh, my party members are more useful than I thought. Excuse you. But there are nefarious forces that seek to disrupt the balance within game industry. Some want to shatter the peace that the CPUs have worked so hard to maintain within game industry and aim for its complete destruction. And others manipulate and corrupt the truth for their own personal gain. A world stained in delusions is a money-making machine, an endless fountain of cash. But despite the odds been stacked against them, during times of dire crisis, the four CPUs and their friends have banded together to defend game industry. And as a result, the bonds between the CPUs have grown stronger. These hardships and the support of their friends have given them the strength to lead game industry into the next generation. Endure my longsword. Diagonal Blade Wild Sword Dance. Gun controller set. Here we go. Eat. May your soul evaporate. In this game industry, the CPUs have overcome many challenges to maintain their peaceful lives. But within the multiple dimensions of the Neptunia series, there are other locations where things have taken an interesting and unexpected turn. Foreshadowing. 
Nice. Go on, please. Leave those comments to Neptune. <laughs> All according to plan. <sighs> <sighs> Super Neptunia RPG is the latest entry in this series. It takes place in a version of game industry where 2D games reign supreme. An organization fiercely devoted to these games rules over this vibrant world. They are known as Bombix Mori and their devotion comes with a heavy price. Citizens of game industry are forced to offer 2D games to Bombix Mori as taxes and those who dare to use new technologies or create games that don't meet their standards risk being banished to the trial grounds. It is in this game industry, a dark world of no future in sight, that our heroine Neptune awakens from her sleep. Join Neptune, Noir, Blan, and Vert as they explore this new world in their latest adventure. Super Neptunia RPG